Well, hello, my Facebook friends. It's been a moment since I got an opportunity to really get on and um, put together some content. I'm holding here my valuable tool and the eagle. You know, it's something about the eagle. It soars high and it's always been strong in its endeavors. You know, I'm sporting my two and six gear here. Tutus to um, Mr. Hardy. He's doing some great things, making things happen out there. And I'm looking forward to um, networking and sharing his content and along with so many other people content on my um, social media. Um, first thing first, I just want to just say, you know, some of the things I'm thankful for. I'm thankful here to be able to be able to look at this video and say, wow, look what God has done. You know, this time last year, I had a triple bypass heart surgery, surgery and it's just tremendously been a blessing how I recuperate. But it wasn't through my own doing, it's because I followed the instruction of the doctors. I was able to do the things to change the things in my life that can better my health. Now I'm at this point where, you know, there's so much going on in the world, so much killing, so much activity, and then most importantly, so many great ideas. We almost locking in on the physical year 2019, and it's Labor Day weekend. Now this is an opportunity for me to sit down and say, okay, it's August. What kind of closure can you bring to others? to be able to get them to move to action and establish their unique valuable proposition and we can grow collectively and bring it all together and network. And one of the great things I'm so happy about with WC Network um, is fresh, being structured by me and I'm just taking my time with it because what I want to do is refocus people's minds, even while at the same time I'm refocusing my minds. Because a lot of times you get uh, stagnated, you get um, all wrapped up in everybody else's success. And then you focus, then you get off course. You focus, then you back off course. And then something might happen to get you off course again. So let's talk about what can we do to make sure that we have a strategy and action plan to be able to keep us moving forward with our unique valuable proposition. And one of the things I'm learning to be able to do that is first of all, you have to make up in your mind. Is listen to the radio. How many hours are you putting in listen to the radio? It sounds good. It's a good feeling. But if you can cut back on some of the radio time and get some of your thoughts together and then start spending quality time with them thoughts to bring the change that you need to bring to reach your target which is basically get back on course. See it's real easy to talk business but it's much more difficult to know exactly what it takes to stay on course because what is happening it seems like as soon as you think you got a strategy and a plan, here's all these thoughts coming all over the place and all these distractions. So my thing is, let's address how can you overcome that. First way to overcome it is that you have to set time aside and say, Lord, teach me the principles that's necessary to help me to focus on the objective, which is content and building my unique value proposition. You see, if everyone focus on building their unique value proposition and position ourselves to not talk about, criticize, or condemn, but lift up, encourage, and motivate others to be able to see that there is an opportunity for them to cross over. See, it's all about crossing over. Crossing over to something that you have passion for, crossing over to something that's going to bring value to others and crossing it into something that's going to help you educate your skills and strengthen yourself for you can be able to deal with the massive, massive success that comes with being consistent. See, you cannot be consistent if you're not focused. You cannot focus if your thoughts is all over the place. So thoughts are things. I know you heard that so many times and I had a, a mentor of mine always say thoughts are things. Now, how can I deal with my thoughts? 
when I'm going through this eight-hour job and I'm dealing with all the stress and all the different personalities and tonalities and all the individuals who do not want you to succeed. How do you deal with them thoughts when you're in that type of environment, which I call the VUCA environment? Well, what you have to do is get a plan together, and your plan has to be transitioning yourself on a course that will move you to action and get you into a position where you're doing something that's valuable, that's giving value, and also building an economic economy for you. See, how do you build your own economy? By listening to other people who's already done it, who's successful and having goals set and achieving them goals and meeting them goals and them objectives. And the, once you get to the point where, well, how do I do that? Well, first thing you have to do is, can you shut down 102.3? Can you shut down all the things that make you feel good and get focused on things that are going to make a difference for the good of you and your family and your future? Discipline. Now, where did the discipline come from? Discipline comes from all the mistakes you made, you can't make the same mistakes over again. All the excuses that you make, you have to find a way to supplement the excuses with time spent to help overcome the mind that keep taking you back in that funnel that's not getting the things done that's required to help you to move to the steps that you need to go through to overcome. We all are overcomer. The one greatest thing about opportunity is that you have to create your, create your own opportunities and then you have to be willing to say, okay, now I have the opportunity now I have to go through the process, and number one thing is, don't even bring your mind doubt. Doubt is going to be all over the things that are trying to get you to the where you need to be. And what you have to do is say, well, understand it's only 24 hours a day. Understand you're working. Understand that once you do your 24 hours and 8 hours, you got 16 hours. But what you have to understand, during them 24 hours and the 8 hours, what are you thinking about? How are your thoughts translating to your self-conscious? How can you control that? How can you manage that? How can you focus on content? How can you get to your unique value proposition? What can you do to move to action and make that happen? Stay tuned. CNW is going to be talking about this the next four months as we close in on 2019 to get you fresh and ready and have your mind set that 2020 is going to be the goal achieving year. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited about bucking it down, focus, getting myself together, evaluating the things that I need to do, check myself on the neck up, and no, most importantly, surround your mind with the things that's going to change your mind to the direction where you need to go. To the next time, stay tuned, be encouraged, Keep moving forward and never ever let a VUCA environment and your individual who's sitting in the bushes waiting for you to fail to bring hell in your life. Keep on rising. Trust with faith and action and consistency and discipline and focus your own course to your unique valuable proposition. Till the next time, I will be doing videos for the next four months and helping myself get focused by going through my everyday experience with you on my new up and coming CNW website that I'm building from the ground. Ain't it great? It's real easy to pay for service but it's much more difficult to learn how to develop your economy. Have a good one. Stay tuned because it's going to get exciting.